So welcome to another match of Dead by Daylight. This time, I've unlocked uh, my main character, the Legion. Well, I say main character. It's four characters that uh, happen to uh, share a moveset. Because they're a little gang. Teen gang. Their power, Feral Frenzy, allows them to uh, move with double the speed difference from survivors. And uh, every hit puts the uh, survivor that it hits into the deep wound state, which is uh, injured. And also, they need to spend uh, time mending that wound in the next 20 seconds, not counting any time that they spent running. Or else they fall over. For perks, I've brought Lightborn, which uh, prevents blinds from happening and gives me information about people trying to blind me. Uh, Hex, Huntress Lullaby, which every time I get a hook uh, makes skill checks harder. Discordance, which notifies me if two or more people are on the generator. And Tinkerer, which notifies me when the generators are almost done and makes me undetectable. I'm very lucky to have gotten this early chase on Zarina. Because Zarina came with a flashlight. You can see that, that there's very little effect on that flashlight. And I'm very proud of myself for having done it. Except that Zarina, uh, instead of uh, playing around it, kind of just gives up. It's very unfortunate, but as I leave, Zarina takes basically every opportunity to kill herself on hook, uh, trying for three unhook attempts, each of which sacrifices a little bit of the time she has remaining. Normally, it takes a full minute for a survivor to enter the second hook state, but Zarina just did. <sighs> Apparently, uh, if you don't play with their toys, the survivors uh, will throw a tantrum at like children. I do uh, like that I brought two different mixtape add-ons, and they dynamically altered the Legion's music. Expect to hear different mixes. Uh, here we've got Julie's mixtape, which instantly recharges Feral Frenzy when I get stunned, and Joey's mixtape, which when a survivor mends, uh, inflicts hemorrhage, which basically causes them to bleed more and lose healing progress on interrupted heals uh, until they fully heal. I did not expect to hit Zarina here, but I really should have. She wanted to die. And frankly, uh, the, nobody wants to play a game with someone who is uh, not going to play to their best. It's unfortunate. Michaela here had an opportunity to see my hex. It was lit up in that uh, hallway, or that office at the end of the hallway. But uh, nobody notices it throughout the entirety of the match. So, uh... <laughs> This is the weirdest mind game I've been a part of. Another Lightborn blind. It's uh, very silly how that perk just gives you information about the person who tried to blind you. Even just not being blinded in itself would uh, make the perk uh, reasonable. But they added 10 seconds of aura reading.
so I already know that this game is a bit lopsided because there are only three players uh, trying their best on the other team, and I'm supposed to have four of those. I think that guy tried to go for a body block, uh, Jake, but he didn't get it off in time. I still didn't make it to Michaela, though. I got a bit lost here. So my build is centered around making the survivors simply lose time. They lose time mending when I inflict deep wounds. They lose time healing if they bother to heal. They lose time on generators if they miss skill checks. And I pressure them off of generators if they group up or when the generator's almost finished. Notice how in this moment nobody is doing anything useful. A wiser me would have gone for Meg first, but uh, I figured it was enough to go for Jake and Michaela, who were grouped up. There's my hex. Raccoon City Police Department is a little confusing to navigate if you're new. But there are uh, plenty of holes. I uh, was entirely oblivious and missed Meg there. We catch back up to her, and I decide to stop playing around and go for lethal hits. But I forgot that that hook was used up already. Poor Zarina. Here I had an archive challenge to hook three unique survivors in a trial. Easy enough. Archives are the kind of game outside the game wherein uh, you can complete challenges in your matches to gain rewards between matches. This is a little dance that I, uh, I was in my own head a bit for. But we get there. Or rather, we don't. That was a bit too far. Here I allowed Jake a small grace window to unhook Meg. The game could have been over so much sooner.
Unfortunately, uh, here I accidentally pressure Michaela off of the save, and Jake dies instantly as a result. And uh, Meg had the misfortune of walking straight into me while going for the save. I'm outright surprised that uh, I didn't hook Michaela once at this point. I catch her with the very, very tippy tip of my knife. I don't know what I was going for here. I could have taken the short way on the second floor. I go to guard my totem, but unfortunately, there's Meg. And with this, it's more or less over. Interesting note, uh, the survivors could not unhook each other enough times for me to get an iridescent uh, devout medal. I didn't say good game here because uh, not everyone was playing their absolute best and it would be uh, inconsiderate to uh, act like they were. It's truly unfortunate how that shook out. <laughs> 